actually I looked at your Instagram page too as well. You you actually did a high rocks competition mm -hmm. with with Heather Hudson. Mm -hmm. Um, what you know, obviously that's completely different from Grid League CrossFit. So, like, what was your experience of that? And what made was that like another bucket list you wanted to check off? Man, that was awful. <laughs> high rocks is awful. I am not a runner. If you like running, high rocks is fun. Um, but I am not a runner. Um, no, how did that come about? No, we met someone and they, they said, we'll get you guys. It was the Miami high rocks. Um, they said, we'll give you guys some entries. And so we're like, shit, why not? You know, me and Heather mm -hmm. try to do as much stuff as possible together. So we're like, why not? Let's just do that. Let's add that to the list of things that Riley and Heather do together. Um, but yeah, no, we did it. We actually we qualified for world championships. So then we did it again in England. We mm -hmm. went to uh, Manchester for world championships and then did it again. Um, I don't think I'll ever do one again. It was fun. It was definitely a good experience. But like I said, I am like, I'm just, I'm not a fan of running and it's five miles in total. And that's about four miles too much for me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny because there's all these like little girls who just crush the run. And then it's like, they're dying on like the, the movements. And I'm like, hell yeah. Like we're done with the run. I get to like push some weight or ski or row or carry some kettlebells. That was like my break while everyone else was like dying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. Like we would pass them on that stuff and then they would pass us on the run and then we would pass them. And then, um, it is a cool, it's also very different, but it's also a cool setup. It's fun. It's a good, yeah. Do, so, so do you think, do you think high rocks is comparable to CrossFit? Is it like, kind of like, like the same thing kind of? No, no, I don't, I didn't think so. Either. I mean, it does have the, my, for my, my opinion, I think it does have the functional movements of like a skier, you know, you know, the, the, you know, the hang, like a farmer's carries the, the sled push and the, like a little bit of running. But my thing with that is I don't think it's it's not really constantly very bearing movements compared to CrossFit. It's like the same thing over and over and over again. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I, I I'm pretty sure it might be changing it this year. I did read something, but however long it's been around, it's the, it's the same thing every time. Like it literally never changes. It's always the same race. It's always the same movements. It's always the same distance. It's always the same rep scheme, whatever it may be. Um, and it's also long. Like you're not going to go work out for 14 minutes and then, take a break and go again. Like, no, you're, you're moving for a minimum of an hour. If you're yep. really good, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Yeah. So CrossFit, you don't, you don't ever do that. Right. Once yeah. a year you do Murph, but other than that, maybe Chad, you know, but like, as far as anything outside of like the hero workouts, you're not doing a, a constant movement or a constant workout for over an hour ever. No. And, and even with Gridley, I, I believe even with Gridley, they, they kind of change it up too as well. It's not really the same thing all the time. Yeah. We change it every, every match is a different format. That's awesome. Yeah. So uh, speaking about grid league, so um, how was the season last year and what have, what are you trying to do for this year to, to step up your guys game? Um, My season last year was the same as the previous years that I've owned the team, we get, we are doing really good throughout the regular season and then we make it to playoffs and then we lose in playoffs. It's been, <laughs> been like a continuous cycle for the last three years. We can never get past playoffs. Um, what am I hoping to do differently? Was that the question? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What, like, so what are you trying to do to like, obviously make it past the playoffs and like, and win a championship? Hopefully practice a little bit more. Um, I think a lot of it, it comes down to like little tiny errors and mistakes during playoffs. Um, so hopefully just get the team. And I'm also like hopefully being able to kind of shift their mindset and the way they, they kind of go about things rather than just go work out. Let's think about this a little bit. Yeah. You know, try to bring in some life coaching a little bit as to why they're doing what they're doing. And like, let's, let's just not make it go do this movement fast. Like let's do it with intention. And like, why are you doing this right now? Um, that way, hopefully there will be less error, right? So not they're not just running out on the grid and spazzing out and getting no reps constantly. Um, yeah. So that's really the big goal is kind of eliminating the no reps. There were so many no reps in, in playoffs last year. Um, it, it cost us because a no rep on the grid is a make or break every time. Yeah, that's like seconds, seconds it's away from like winning. Milliseconds, literally. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. so with you guys like doing like the fast, really fast movements and like always go, go, go. So how, how do these judges like are able to 
you know, count the reps and miss or do like a no rep because, you know, they're do you guys are going so fast. How can they notice like if they have soft knees or if the elbows bent a little bit or if they're not really overhead? How do, how do they judge judge the competitions? So the grid league refs are are one first and foremost, they are paid and they do training, right? Well, these that's good. Yeah. Our volunteers that just walk onto the grid for the first time, like there is extensive training and like video footage that they're like reviewing constantly. And there's also refs on the grid, but then there's also a head ref on both sides. So you have most of the time you have more than one ref looking at you. Oh, good. Um, okay. But it all comes down to their training. Like they put, they like those refs, like pour their heart and soul into like reviewing old footage and, you know, the head refs will kind of judge them like what was good, what was bad, like how, you know, but um, they are also trained that like, if it's on the edge to no rep, you don't, they don't give it to you. So, you know, I mean, we're, we're playing for money. So the strict, they have to be strict. So if it's like, if it's questionable at all, they're trained to just say it doesn't count. Um, yeah. Yeah. Well, well, maybe, maybe, maybe CrossFit during the quarterfinals should have two judges judge, judging, judging those people Poor during CrossFit. the step ups. Poor CrossFit, they're getting some, some. Yeah, they're getting right now. <laughs> yeah, well, well, even um, so, I they have like a um, so there's like a, a like almost like a judges league, like, almost like grid league. It's they call ourselves like AFJ. Have you ever heard of them before? No. So. So it's a non it's a nonprofit, and so what they're doing is they're judging, um, they're taking it serious. Uh, um, they're, so what they what they're doing is is they're they're focusing on it's a, on like being official judges for CrossFit, pretty much. And that, that's that's what my my take on them is. So a lot of like camps like Mayhem, um, who else? Um, a couple other camps to use them for um for judging instead of using like someone from the gym and so some of these some of these judges actually have been at the crossfit games too as well as as like one of the head judges or like one of the main judges in like the, the you know five through seven or whatever like those those lanes like where the elite at where the you know top athletes are and i guess from what i what i saw was they brought the afg to the J afj to the mayhem camp to judge them and and they like those athletes got dinged so hard especially Paige power she got she dropped even like to not even make it into semifinals and one of the afj judges was actually judging her and so i i thought it was just absolutely crazy like if you can have the afj miss like just having a neutral head like what are other people missing and like how can they be a professional group if they're if they miss like some slight you know wording or verbiage like in in the you know the rule book it's hard <laughs> human error is never gonna go away yeah um, true think about how much money baseball umps and football refs get and so they still mess up every every game every game there's always bad calls. There's never not a game that is perfectly called ever, ever. Right. So it's like, at what point do you just, it's just ignoring it. Like they're going to complain at all, at all costs. Someone's always going to complain. It doesn't matter. So yep. like CrossFit, it's, I mean, hopefully they're not trying to cheat just to get to semifinals. You know, I, but, I don't, I don't think so. Especially in the mayhem camp. Like I don't, I don't like Paige powers. She was like top 10 in last year's CrossFit games. So it's just like, I don't, I don't think her intent was to cheat because I know probably other people that are in semifinals or quarterfinals were trying to cheat the system to get up on the leaderboard. to make a name for themselves. Yeah. I don't know. I think the best they can do is just define the, the standards the best they can. And if people don't follow them, then that's what you get for not reading the rules. Right. Yeah. I mean, true. Yeah. So does, does grid league have like a rule book or anything like that for movement standards or how, do, how does that work? Extensive rule book for <laughs> every movement. There is a, there is yes. And if you notice if there's ever like any sort of discrepancy on the grid, uh, they'll come down to, it'll come down to video and then they'll, he, he brings out the, the rule book every time you'll see him. He'll be all on the grid. Like here's the standard. Here's the rule. That's it. There, then there's no question. Like, no argument. Yeah. Here, right. Yep. Now, now when they do replay, is it like all in slow motion just to see if they got, okay. 
Yeah. That's yeah. pretty legit. That's pretty legit. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. That's awesome. Good. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. It's it's getting better and better each year too. Um, yeah, and and it's still a new and you, your grid league still like relatively new too. But it's not like you know you guys have been around like for like you know forty years or like that. You guys are still growing, which even your social media presence has been absolutely huge. It's been a huge spike. Yeah, it's brand new. It's just getting started. Yeah, and I I can see some good things coming out of it too, which is awesome. Especially, you know, you have a team that's actually in Atlanta now. Mm -hmm. And so are you guys looking to expand more into like other states and try to make it like slowly grow here and there? Yeah. And there's going to be two new teams next year. So there'll be 10 teams total next year. And the other two teams will definitely be out of state. There's so much interest in, in Texas. So I can probably say with confidence, one of the teams will be based out of Texas just because how much interest is there and actually how many players um, fly in from Texas. There is a lot. There is a lot of people currently that play that fly in from Texas for all the matches. So, um, yeah, two more teams next year for a total of ten. Um, this year is actually the first year we're traveling out of state. We are going to Vegas. All eight teams this year are going to Vegas for. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. In October, it's going to be super fun. So, um, yeah, it's growing. It's growing. It's cool. And, and, and with the competition in Vegas, so is it for a? Um... Is it for like a, a bodybuilding con like not a, like a fitness con like a fitness show showcase or whatnot or is that is that where you guys are gonna be training? It's it's a fitness expo. It's uh we will okay. be with Mr. Olympia. Oh, that's awesome. That's really one, cool. One of the what is it forty plus sports that will be there? Yeah, it's gonna be huge. Yeah, that's super awesome. exciting. So and then it's also a double header. So every team will play on Friday and Saturday, and that is actually it's actually a very important double header because that's who. That's what dictates who goes to playoffs the next oh, month. Oh, very so, cool. Yeah, That's, super important matches. Yeah. And um, one of the things I get when I do like CrossFit like style movements or, or like, you know, like Olympic lifts or whatnot, a lot of the people in the bodybuilding space or like other like, you know, bro, bro split spaces like really, you know, poo poo CrossFit. So what do you say to those people that like poo poo CrossFit and like grid league movements? in you know from what they typically do <laughs> you do you. <laughs> cool honestly it doesn't affect me and that's part of the emotional mastery like what they do like i don't care like i don't yeah. care what i'm doing right um the one big thing though is you know like a lot of people are like oh it's the circus of crossfit like grit the grid is now like the circus of crossfit like people already shit on crossfit and now people are like oh now it's a circus of whatever it's but what we're doing, what, what CrossFit does is test your fitness, right? And that's not what grit is. We're not, we're not testing people's fitness. It's a sport. It's, it's an inner, it's for entertainment. This is a spectator sport. It's a race. Yeah. Yep. It's like football or basketball. It is head to head against the other team. We're not testing anyone's fitness. We could care less what you do. We could care less how or what you train. That's what the sport of CrossFit is, is to test your fitness. We are testing nothing. It is entertainment. It's a race. That is all it is. Right? Yeah. You so, want the most points as possible. Right. Exactly. So it's what people care or say about the movements. I don't care. It makes no difference. There's not a single player that shits on it. They love it, you know? So, and the people that are grid fans absolutely love it. So it's like I said, it's like everything's going to get backlash. It doesn't matter what it is. <laughs>